Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. Wow, do we have a great day upon us today. They say this, the wind's gonna pick up a bit, but right now it's absolutely gorgeous. We're fishing the salt waters of Cape Cod and that excites me because we're actually gonna be jigging for cod today and that's one of my most favorite eating saltwater fish and we're hoping to get into some. Um, I'm gonna be running the totally new Flexi Jig, which you may or may not have seen. It's uh, Thunderous Lure Company's new jig, which actually flexes down when you when you uh, get a bite to set the hook. It's absolutely fantastic for hook setting, and the fish have a hard time shaking that hook. It's totally new. I love it. And I'm running one of Big John's uh, Tremblers on a T-turn here. Uh, I always like to run a teaser when I'm fishing salt water. You always get that little extra bite, and you got the chance to get two at a time, so I absolutely love that. And we're fishing relatively uh, shallow for cod. Right now we're in about 60 feet of water. And uh, this particular spot, there's a lot of rocks down here, and uh, it runs to about 80 feet. And uh, basically just jigging off the bottom and hoping to get into some nice cod. Okay, there's the first cast, still not quite down yet. It takes a while to get down there. But once we're down there, we're just going to work these baits off the bottom. And I'm going to run various plastic baits today. Uh, I've got actually uh, a little crayfish type bait that I'm running right now. I'm going to run some plastic shads. Uh, I'm going to run some plastic artificial crabs. I'm going to mix it up a bit and see what, uh, what these fish want today. So stay tuned, folks. You know, with these fish, it's not about the fight. It's all about the fish, eh, Dougie? That's right. They don't fight much, they come in like... They come in like logs. Okay, like a log, like a boot. Okay, here we go. Oops, let me... I'm not gonna net them. There we go, there's a nice cod. Nice. Look at that flexi jig hook set, that's what I mean right there. <laughs> they gotta be 19 inches, that's a nice looking cod, isn't it? Looks like he's gonna measure. Yeah, I hope so. Let's take a quick look. Oh, close, he, isn't it? oh, I gotta take this flexi jig out. Let's take a peek. Tail. Come on. Put the nose on 19. Look at that. He's eight, 18 and 7 eighths. Actually, you know what? He's just 19. Look at that. 19 inches. Bang on. We got ourselves some dinner right there. There's a nice cod right there. Now they get huge. We're catching these are small cod. But they'll be very tasty. Now the one thing about cod, if you're jigging for cod, is the fillets might have worms in them. But they're easy to tell. Once you fillet the cod, just hold the fillet up to a light and you'll see these little, little worms. I mean, you can eat them, they're safe to eat, but I like to pluck them out. Oh, you got a good one, Phil. Got another one, Evo. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one. You think so, Dougie? I think so. I hope so. A lot of fun, let me tell you. We're in 58 feet of water right now. 58, Yeah, we just, oh, I got one too, got Dougie. One too? Double header. Oh, oh, I, nice. got, I got a good one here too, Phil. Nice. We're in a good zone. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, he's got some weight to him. Oh, he's got some weight to him. <laughs> this one's got some weight to him. You got the flexi on? I do, yeah. So do I. You, the flexi? The flexi with the white twister tail. Oh, oh yeah. You one. got a nice cod, Phil. Yeah. You got a nice cod. Wow. Let me, oh, yes. Wow. I hope I do too. That was great. <laughs> they don't fight like striper or anything like that, but I'll tell you, this one's got some weight to them. Okay. Coming wow. up out of that deep water. A major hook set. Yeah? Major. Oh, mine is, oh, mine is foul hook. Just in the, the side oh. of the mouth. How's Just that, the side. Look at that. Oh, well, you got a beauty too. You got a real nice cod, Phil. You That's got a real a nice cod. Got, Mine was hooked just to the side of the mouth. 
Oh yeah, Phil, this is... Oh, that's a beauty too. He's 20? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> photo, photo op? Photo op right there. <laughs> you know job. what? They're not huge. These fish get huge. Yeah. But these are going to be very, very tasty. Very, very tasty fish. They're yeah. beautiful fish, aren't they? If you've never fished for cod, they're an absolutely beautiful fish. Yeah. Coming yeah. out of this cold water. The water is 55 55, 55 degrees. Okay, let's put them in the live well, Phil. There's a nice double header. Very nice. The live well's looking good. Actually, why don't you put him in the back live right. well? This one's... Okay. So we're catching some fish today, folks. The weather's holding out for us. We just got a slight breeze. And uh, that one, actually, I switched over to a plastic shad, which it looks like I got to re-rig because he just mangled it there on the hit. But uh, like I say, with these flexi jigs, once you hook that fish, What's that rod there? they're not coming off because that's a solid hook set and they can't shake the hook. So I'm going to rig up plastic artificials. Now, if we wanted to, hey, Phil, we're just yeah. having some fun with some plastics today. And jigging, I'm casting out and jigging back towards the boat. You're kind of doing the same, hey, Phil. We're just working yep. it off the bottom. I've got the T-turn, as you see there, with the, with the trembler, which is great. I already caught a bonus fish on that. Um, but you know what, using jigging spoons is also a great, great method for, uh, for catching uh, cod if you want to vertically jig. And the bullet jigger is ideal for that. Put a little strip of bait on there and jig it down, but I'm going to re-rig. Vincenzo, you're on. Got a Vincenzo. little cod. That's a good cod. And you're using live crab. Live crab, yeah. Green crab. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good fish. You know what, I, he's going to be close. Jigging for cod, unbelievable. We've been out here how long, guys? 10 minutes? <laughs> you know, that little cod I just got now, That's that, that was on a teaser again. On a teaser? Yes. Oh. You want to measure him up, Vincenzo? Yeah. Oh, that looks like a nice fish. I think he's going to measure. 19's the magic number. He's over 19. Beautiful. Good job, Vincenzo. Well, Vincenzo, you're hot with those crabs. Yeah, they seem to be working today. That was a major league hook set, too. Yes, it was. Do you got any weight to him? Quite a bit. Hey, if he's as big as that last one, we'll be happy. Oh, it's a good one. Good one, Phil? Yep. Well, oh, nice well fish. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Oh nice. 55 feet of water. Vincenzo's using little green crabs. Fresh little green crabs. And the rest of us are using artificials. There you go, Vincenzo. Oh, Phil's on too. You're on back there, eh Phil? Yeah. Good one? Uh, doesn't feel that big, but you never know, I guess. <laughs> this is just fishing at its best. You gotta love saltwater fishing. You gonna measure that one, Vincenzo? Oh, yeah. I think he'll measure. measure. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Well over 19. Beautiful. And Phil's got another one. Yours looks smaller, Phil. I don't think he's going to measure. Ah, uh, he's going to be close. Vincenzo, you want to do the honors and measure him for me? You got the flexi jig too, eh, Phil? Flexi jig, yeah. You're uh, using a white twister, though. Yeah. I don't have him yet. Okay. He looks small. He looks small, but you never know. You never know. Seventeen, too small. Yeah, okay, back he goes. What do you got, Doug? No. You got a cod. Oh, you I got know a, it's a cod. You got him on the Big John Trembler. I don't think he'll measure. No, he looks small, Dougie, but you're on the board. I've yeah, done the board twice before. <laughs> <laughs> Two other small ones. It's official now. <laughs> Good one, Phil. Uh, we shall see. You gotta love jigging for cod. What a riot. I just loosened my drag a bit, so. It may sound bigger than what it actually is. 
and you got a fairly light action rod, don't you? Medium kind of medium action. Nice cod. Actually, that's a decent cod. Yeah, good one, even Genzo. Not much skill required to land in these guys. <laughs> it's like landing a wet sock. <laughs> yes, 19 and a quarter. Beautiful. Oh, well, this one feels a little bit different, Phil. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. He's kind of tugging a bit, but most likely still another cod. Now I'm using 100. I'm using braided line, of course. When you're deep jigging like this, braided line is ideal because with monofilament you just have a ton of stretch. But with braided line, no stretch at all, and that's what you need in this deep water. And my shad has just produced another cod. Nice. There we go there. And I don't think he's gonna measure. Nice fish though. He was fighting a little different. He was actually actually he was actually fighting. I felt him tugging. Oh, that jig out. Okay. I think he's undersized. Well, actually, he's close. He's about 18. He's 18 and a bit. Nice cod. Go back for another day. Beautiful. Folks, I got to tell you, we're having a ride out here. Again, it's not like catching stripers or anything like that, but it is an absolute lot of fun. We're catching dinner. That's what we're doing. These cod are delicious. If you get an opportunity, folks, Cape Cod is a beautiful area. Fish in salt water is a lot of fun. You never know what you're gonna catch, but jigging for cod, it's just a ride, nice relaxing day. We might go in a little later and uh, fish for stripers along the shoreline, but for right now, we're working on dinner. So I wanna thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunder Miss Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing.